We are entering now year four with mm -hmm. Steve Cohen as the owner of the Mets. How do you look at his ownership so far? Well, it's been a wild ride. I mean, it really has been like an – you could make – other than, like, not winning yet, I just finished watching that Patriots documentary. You could almost make an epic documentary over these three little years just based on the drama that's happened. I'm not saying it's been, obviously, success so far, but you have executives coming and going based on various scandals. You, we, and your third manager, one of whom is Buck Showalter, who is a giant in the game in his own right and a big character. You have Lindor and Baez and... Edwin Diaz and the trumpets and then the injury. I mean, you really could. It's a lot. It's like a movie. Uh, they haven't gotten where they wanted to go yet. Uh, obviously, it's a team that's better resourced than it's ever been. It's a team, as Cohen said, I don't know that it's premature to use the word stacked, but I'm glad they feel good for their sake. I'm glad they feel good about where they're at. The farm system's definitely as good a shape as it's been in a long time. Uh, I think they could still use some more pitching, but uh, in the big picture, Sal, I think it's been really, really interesting to cover and watch, and they're probably headed uh, with the front office and the manager, the manager that they have in place toward a smoother period now with less turnover and, and they hope more winning. All right, Stephanie, so Cohen had said the expectation for this year is to make the postseason. How do you view the Mets in 2024 as a team? I actually think that's a reasonable goal. Uh, I don't think they're going to be great, but it doesn't really take great anymore. You just, you know, with all the extra slots, there aren't that many teams in the National League that are trying. I think, I mean, a lot will depend on Senga and whether the setback that they're not calling a setback turns into another setback. But I think if he is healthy and he pitches most of a season, I think this team, yeah, probably squeaks in. The thing that I love about him is the discipline and restraint that he is showing. He's got the smarts. He's obviously got the resources to go into this year. Like, I know I scream about it. Get a third baseman. Get a DH. I know fans are thinking the same thing. He probably feels that, but he knows that for the greater good, he can't go out there and spend recklessly. He's learned from mistakes and wants to build a sustained winner. And I think he should get some credit here for the discipline that he's shown on Unlike the guy that he gets compared to all the time, George Steinbrenner, mm. who didn't have disappointed. Oh, he's a much more rational actor but that's, in the game than George Steinbrenner. There's a yeah. lot to be said about When I watch Steve Cohen, I see a smart, obviously very rich, passionate individual going to do anything he can to make this team a winner. It may not feel like it because this year the lower expectations, but he's going to eventually make it a sustained, successful run here with the Mets. Well, another headline from Cohen was that he, uh, he's excited. You heard him use the word stacked about the form system here. How's the Mets form system viewed around the league? Yeah, I don't know about the word stacked, guys. I don't know if we're going to go that far quite yet. But people around the league respect the farm system, and I think that's a, that's a step up from where things were a few years ago. We heard Steve Cohen talk about this is kind of what I inherited, mm -hmm. right? Like that's kind of the, the phrase that he used. It wasn't very good, and not only that, they were trading away from those assets as well. So now we're starting to see the, the fruits of hanging on to some guys, and you're gaining that momentum a little bit. So I think Cohen mentioned the idea maybe we could be stacked in a year or two kind of thing. When you look at the draft, they've always drafted pretty well or they have at least in the last five or six years. And so you can start to stack those classes on top of each other, bring in some talent, and hold on to guys maybe. And then eventually you can be at that level. But for right now, they're probably like around top 15 or so. So I don't know about stack quite yet. You need pitching first to develop and, mm. to, and to promote to the big leagues yeah. and all that type of stuff before you can really start patting yourself on the back really hard. But right now they're about top 15.